Do you have a dress made of this, Vanessa? No, I don't, but my mother does. And what happens when she walks when she wears this dress? Well, it sort of waves around. Yeah, it sort of waves all around. And that's because what it was made, it was a special process that originally was used with water, so it's called watered silk. Okay. And, and you and I are going to investigate that effect. Now, another way to do it, here, let me take the cloth, is with two combs. Do you have two combs at home? Yes, okay. I do. Well, take two combs that have the identical number of teeth and hold one up behind the other and move them around. Do you see? Oh, yeah, the lines are sort of going back and, and back, forth. Sort of like when your mother walks with her dress? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Now, that's one way to look at them, but let's look at them on the overhead projector. Okay. Ever, there's a switch over there. Push that bar. All right. And that turns on a light here and shines it up here so we can see it on the wall over there. Okay. Here's one comb. Now try to line the other comb on top of it so that the teeth are perfectly lined up. Almost, right? Yeah. Now notice that light goes through the spaces between the teeth and is stopped where the two teeth are one on top of the other. Now move one of them just slightly to prevent the light from going through if you can. Oh, the... it's, crook it's crooked. Wait a minute. Line it up so it's like that. The almost. The air just about. See it? Yeah. You can hardly see the lines okay, now. Okay. Now that's what makes the dark spaces. So when you interfere with the light, then you get the dark space. So that's why they're called interference patterns. Now, now move the combs a little bit and you'll see. Well, they make different patterns. Yes, now you can see two, three, four, three lines, four lines. And the more you turn it, the more interference patterns you see. Okay. Yeah. Now this is called um, a moiré pattern because that's the French word for watered. And your mother's silk is called watered silk. And you can see why, because yeah. they, when they originally made it, they were using uh, cloth coming up through water. It, now, see there are two screens down there? Look yes. through one. Okay. okay. It just looks now, like a normal screen. No, doesn't it, anything? Oh, look through the other one now. Can't see anything there either, other than the screen. The same. Now put one on top of the other. Oh, it's all mumbled jumbled up. Well, well sort of the moiré pattern, right? Yes. Okay, put them down here on the, on the overhead projector now. Oh, now you can see it a lot better. A lot better, yeah. Now, try to line them up to get the minimum number of black spaces. Uh, see, now they're almost lined up perfectly, something like the teeth of the comb, right? Yeah. Okay, now turn them slightly. It makes different patterns. Yeah. Different now they're shapes. coming more and more sort of at, at, at right angles to each other, so the, you see lots of interference patterns. Now keep going all the way around. They're starting to look like diamonds now. Yes. Now you're getting closer and closer to being together again. Yeah. Uh, it looks like they have they, stripes on them now. Yeah, they're sort of striped. Now scientists use this principle whenever they put two thin films together that have little marks on them, they get this effect. And so they sometimes can use it to make sure the two are lined up. In fact, I'll challenge you to do that. See those two circles down there? Yes. Put one here on the overhead projector. Okay. Okay. Now put the other one on the top of it. Okay. Okay. Now you see you've got it almost like oh perfect, almost perfect, because you don't see any interference patterns or very just one maybe on the left. A great big the left half is sort of dark. Now yes. begin to move it, and you'll see it. now you're really way off. Keep going all the way around. Okay. Oh, it starts making different patterns. In as fact, well. there's some modern art that's based on this effect. Now it looks like it's a butterfly flapping its wings. Keep going all the way around. See if you can get it to be absolutely perfectly lined up again. Not feel uh, 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 go back. Well, of course you get the idea. Yes. Okay, maybe hand me the silk again and turn off the projector. Okay. Right there. Okay. Now, next time your mother wears the dress, what are you going to call the material? Watered w silk. And what is the pattern? Mo Mo moray. Moray. Right. Very good.